Hey, what's good, everyone? It's B. Avery here again for another trailer reaction. This one is for Sony Pictures Venom movie, the official trailer. Uh, this is actually the second trailer. Now, I know this trailer came out yesterday, uh, but in the middle of the day, I was on Facebook and I was just kind of scrolling, doing my thing. And somebody in the comment posted a GIF or a GIF of Venom. Like, you know, you know, saying we are Venom and like, well, it didn't have any audio. I just saw like a, the Venom mask coming over the dude's face and somebody screaming. I'm like, what the hell is that? Is that does it looks somebody did somebody make this up? Is it fan art or something like that? I, I don't see a trailer, you know, coming out anywhere. Went to YouTube when I saw Tyrone Magnus. Uh, he reacted to it, but on his main channel, he did not. Uh, have the picture and picture but on his backup channel there. So I've already seen it. I'm just letting you know that now. So you're like, why isn't he reacting to this particular part here? Because I already seen it. Uh, it looked okay. It did look a little claymation-y or whatever, but I haven't seen the official trailer. So they just released this last night. Um, and I I'll talk about that after I, I watch the trailer, but I had to preface that. So, uh, you know, per my reaction, got on these headphones so y'all can stop listening to me talk and watch me watch this trailer. Here we go. You should be extremely afraid. And that little section did look cool. Thank you for bringing us collectively to this moment. It is a moment that so many have dreamed of claiming. History starts today. <laughs> In association with Marvel. <laughs> Never put it like that before. The guy you work for is an evil person. I don't work for him. My firm works for him. Are you gonna behave yourself tomorrow? I told you I'm gonna do my job. I'm a reporter. I follow people that do not want to be Is followed. That? What about the allegations that you recruit the most vulnerable for tests that end up killing people? Your time to go. You're finished, Mr. Brock. Is that a threat? You had to learn how to hide in plain sight. I'm pretty good at it. But you, you suck. Whoever you are. I work at the Life Foundation, and I need your help. We found something. We call them symbiotes. Carlton Drake believes that the union between human and symbiote is the key to our evolution. I'm feeling really sick. I'm hearing a voice. <laughs> not real, uh, it's just in my head. I like that. <laughs> I'm gonna need Mr. Drake's property back. Oh! I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Oh! Why would we do that? <laughs> Why are you using the same Avengers music? If you're gonna stay, you will only hurt bad people. The way I see it, we can do whatever we want. Do we have a deal? willing to sacrifice the one thing you hold most dear you should be extremely afraid what the hell are you we are venom <gasps> i would have screamed like that so oh god <laughs> Take me to heaven. Okay. So, uh, about that. Um, so, I was going to. So, like I said, this came out last night, right? I had just got home. I had prepared everything. All right, Brandon, you've mastered, to, you've mastered today. You've mastered Monday. Great week starting off. They put this up. I was like, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. I will react to this tomorrow. Forget views or whatever. Uh, but I was going into this. Um, a little skeptical, but this trailer is a lot, a lot better than that first one. Why? Maybe because we actually got to see Venom. So first thing I was saying is I don't like the fact that they kept using or they kept using. They, they were using the Avengers um, Infinity War uh, theme music in the background. Like, come on, Sony. I mean, I know you're trying to do association with Marvel and things like that, but you got to be more original than that. That just lets me know that you don't. I'm not saying that I'm right. This is how I feel. This lets me know that you have no confidence and creating your own material and you got to just copy and buy it off of everything else um in the trailer i do like that tom hardy was like uh, you know hiding in plain sight 
And then that woman came and she was like, hey, I work here. And they started, you know, talking to each other, collaborating together. That did kind of pique my interest a little bit there. When Venom, when we first heard Venom's voice or whatever, and it was all deep, the dude sounded like the Candyman. Uh, I do like that. Uh, that was pretty dope. I like that. What I did not turn, like is, to me, Tom Hardy comes across as just like a tough, rough, macho guy. Um, I don't know. He's an actor, so that's he's acting. I don't know if he's like that in real life. For example, Vin Diesel comes across that way. But if you check him out in interviews, the dude is soft as cotton candy. And I, I mean, he seems that way. But when um, Tom Hardy was just like, you know, hey, you know, if we don't, if you do this, we're going to hurt people. That just kind of seemed like a little soft to me uh, because I am a big Spider-Man fan and Spider-Man like Venom is one of Spider-Man's main nemesis and the symbiote symbiotic suit kind of tailors the person's personality. So Eddie Brock, and I don't know if is is this even the Eddie is he playing Eddie Brock? Yeah, Eddie Brock. He was a rough, tough kind of macho guy in the comics with a bad attitude or whatever. So that's kind of why the symbiote Venom was so just like ah, all over the place. But then you have him in here, and he was like, "Hey, you're gonna hurt people." You know, it, it just doesn't really seem like a match. But maybe they wanted to go for something different and have like a soft-spoken character, and then like an evil uh, villain Venom thing symbiote come together, and it's you know, a polar opposites, yin yang type of thing like that. Um, one thing that I'm also curious about is the Venom. When we officially see him the full in his full suit outfit, whatever, um, if he's going to look like Spider-Man or have the Spider-Man look, because the only reason that Venom had the Spider-Man look in the trailers, I mean, you know, in the lore, is because the symbiote came in contact with Spider-Man first, and so that kind of lasts on. I heard somebody say that there was a shot of uh, Carnage in this trailer. If it is, I missed it. I'm not going to go watch it again right now. Um, but I went from like, I didn't hate the first trailer. I just didn't like it. I didn't care for it. I had no interest in this. Um, I always felt like Sony didn't know what they were doing when it comes to Spider-Man or comics. I mean, Spider-Man 2 is fantastic. Still one of my favorite comic book movies of all time. Um, you know, but when they rebooted it, um, you know, that's just, just a mistake that still, you know, hurts my soul right now. Um, if this movie is great, then hey, we get a great Venom movie. If it's not, excuse me, if it's not great, I mean, I used to say like, hey, you know, the rights will go back to Marvel, but that's already a case in a way. Um, as far as this movie is concerned, I don't care. They can come out with it. I just don't want it to be linked with the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and we can call the MCU like the main 616 universe. I mean, Sony can do as many Spider-Man and stuff. Hey, just keep it in their own universe. And maybe that universe can, um, in the future, tie in with the MCU because there is a multiverse. But um, I'm not going to say that I'm really looking forward to this film just yet. It comes out October 5th. But I, I do have much higher hopes than I did before. And the Venom, uh, actually me seeing the whole context instead of that cheap, low-res image that I saw it in initially, this does look a lot better. Um, so there you go there. Um, you know, it, it looks fine. Um, Ruben Fleischer, you know, he did zombie land 30 minutes or less gangster squad. Um, well, did he direct those? Did he produce them? Let me look at his directing credits actually. Yeah. Gangster squad 30 minutes or less. Not, I, I like the, some of those films. Um, you know, but we're just going to have to see, I know Michelle Williams is in this movie. She was also in I feel pretty, which was a great, well, good, yeah, great movie that I like. You can go check that review out. And also, um, she was in, um, I was going to say Les Miserables and I feel so, I can't ever say that word. What, what was, a uh, what was the musical with Hugh Jackman that came out? The Greatest Showman. Yeah. Um, Tom Holland is rumored in there and here, Woody Harrison. But guys, that is just my opinion for the latest Venom trailer or trailer number two. What did you think? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did the trailer turn you on? Did it? Did I turn you off? Um, do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. But you can still subscribe to my channel. You can also go to my website, check me out there, bookmark it, and also look me up on social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all that good stuff. It's right there the bottom of the screen and I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review slash reaction for trailer number two for Venom snoring Tom Hardy. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery and that's
that's just my opinion. Peace.